Bang! Needs knives. I'm Jared. My lovely wife, Kara, is at work, and this is the top five knives in 14C28 on steel. I love 14C28 on steel. I think it is a great steel for anybody. Um, it's easy to sharpen. It takes a stupid sharp edge, and it's relatively affordable. Um, you can get it for a great price normally. It's easy for, for companies to heat treat. Um, I'm not going to get into that and reasons why, but it is. It's very easy for them to heat treat, so they normally get it right. It's pretty hard to mess up 14C28 and steel. So it usually comes out with good results, and it has great edge retention. And like I said, you can get it for a great price. Uh, some people would consider it a budget steel because it comes for such a good price. Um, but in my opinion, it has mid-grade performance. So it's more of a mid-grade steel that you just are lucky enough to get for a great price. Now, I want to say, I forgot to say yesterday in my top five knives with a twist redo video that I'm doing top five knives all week. So I have a whole bunch of really cool top five knives videos. So stay tuned for those. Now, this is the Orion Solaris. Not only is it an awesome button lock knife that has multiple deployments, very fidgety, runs on multi-row bearings, but it's also made by an awesome dude in the community, Blade Banter. And he, he also works for QSP. I forgot to say that, uh, but very cool guy, very cool channel. Definitely check his channel out. Um, blade banter. Now this is the QSP Orion, very fidgety. Now I know that I don't know how many are left. Okay. I just want to say that right off the top, but he does have a second run coming, um, pretty soon here. I'm pretty sure you can still get one of these though. If you contact him, I'm not positive though, cause I don't know when you're watching this and so on and so forth, but there is another run of them coming great knife. And it is in 14 C 28 on steel. Comes in a couple different colors. You can get them in red. You can you can get the um, carbon fiber scales. He does have a bunch of different options. Like I said, multi-row bearings, which makes this thing super fidgety. The, the choil up here, you can really get up nice and tight to that blade. Very comfortable right there. Great blade shape for EDC. And yeah, great knife. Titanium clip. Has uh, a titanium ball. It's milled into the clip. So yeah, awesome, awesome. Let's get to the next one. This next one is a USA made knife. I almost didn't put it on the list because mine, I mean, it's been through a lot. I mean, the lockup is still good, still rock solid. The action's still good. It's had quite a bit of sharpenings on it though. Um, I have a very toothy edge put on it, but this is USA made. And I believe Kershaw was the first ones to start using the Swedish steel 14C28N. I'm not sure if they helped make it. Sorry, I got a little schmuck on my blade. I got to clean this thing. It's it's really dirty. It's <laughs> it, it needs some loving for sure. I've used the heck out of it. It was a work knife at one time and it's went through everything I've thrown at it and more. But, it, you know, it's starting to get old at this point and it, you know, but uh, it's still an awesome, awesome knife. 14C28 on steel. They do a pretty good job with it like most companies, but, uh, but yeah, I, I really like the knife, uh, aluminum handles. It does have the sub frame lock. Awesome. Awesome knife. Great action. Next up. Okay. Now this next one, I'm pulling two up, but I'm going to take one away and I'll tell you why. So we have the Civivi Riffle, and we have the Civivi Brazen. Brazen. So the thing is, is that these are both awesome knives. Let me just tell you that right now. Um, I can't say which one's better as of right now. They're both in 14C28N. I did sharpen this one though, and I was super impressed with their 14C28N. Not only how stupid sharp their edge got and how I got a good polish on it and everything, but also the knife itself is just great. Um, Great fidget factor, great detent. The ergos are amazing. The thing cuts like a beast. Um, just a great knife. I love, love, love this knife. 
It is in micarta. This is their olive micarta. But this one I haven't sharpened yet, and I have not reviewed yet. I have not reviewed this one yet. So that's why I'm going to take this one off and leave this one up because I've not fully reviewed it. I haven't sharpened it. Now, I know it's the same steel, same company and everything, so it's probably going to be very similar. But I can't say for sure which one is better right now without fully reviewing this one. I have been carrying it. Don't get me wrong. I have been carrying it, and I got a pretty good idea. But just because of that, I'm going to take this one away. But just know that both of these are amazing knives. Now, this riffle, though, what a great knife, man. Deep carry clip. I did have to, and this is what almost put that one or the other one, the, the brazen in instead of this one, is that I did have to cut a choil in. But it's super simple to do that, and this one doesn't, the, the brazen um, could possibly need that too, which is a little disappointing from Civivi because they are very good at sharpening choils. They do them very well. So, But yeah, awesome, awesome knife. Really love this knife. Next up, the Tucson TS-267. I'll tell you what, this knife is kind of a sleeper. Um, I've had a few Tucsons in uh, 14C28N, and this one, it's um, it's kind of underrated. I, I got to say that right now. Now, the front flipping action, the top flipping action is incredible incredibly easy the action almost reminds me a little bit of the Atlantic whipper snapper you see how they kind of both have the mohawk top flippers and they do have the reverse flicking this kind of reminds me of that the reverse flick is super easy on it the top flipper is incredibly easy and the ergos are really nice in the hand all titanium and carbon fiber sorry it does have the bolster lock which is just a, basically a frame lock with an inlay over it. But yeah, it has a clip point buoy blade shape, which I'm not a massive fan of. I'm, I'm not usually a clip point buoy fan. Um, some of them I am, but this one falls into the categories of where it's a great EDC one. Good utility use, bit of belly for slicing. It's um, not the thinnest behind the edge, but it's also not thick. It's in that happy medium range where it's a great cutter, slices great, and the action is stupid good. I mean, it is so good. The clip works fantastic on this too, son. Carbon fiber is well done. I don't like the hole in the blade. And there are other two sons that I do like a little bit better. Let me just say that right now. But I don't have them on me right now. I do not have them on me. Otherwise, they might be the ones up here. But this is an incredible, incredible, incredible two son. And it's so underrated. So many people have not checked it out or reviewed it. And if they did, they might like it. You can get up nice and close to that blade. Um man it, it reminds me a lot of another knife that did get a lot of hype um i can't think of the name of it <clears throat> the one downfall is that their their satin blade does take some fingerprints and stuff that's why i'm happy that they are going to start doing uh stone washing on their 14c28n now you see the titanium's got the stone washing what a great knife Next, or last, last. Now, this one's going to be a little bit of, uh, I see, I just took the other one out for because I haven't reviewed it yet. This one I haven't reviewed yet, and it's not quite hit the list, but this is the new Button Lock Civivi. Now, I hate to put this on the list before I've done the review, but I'll tell you what, I've been carrying it. I've been working with it. I have been using it. You'll probably tell on the blade a little bit, but it's very impressive. It's been impressing me, and I already know what the big argument is. I don't need to put that in this video. You guys know what I'm talking about, and it will be in the review that is coming extremely soon, very fast, because I, I've been carrying it constantly to make sure I can bring you guys the review very quick. Watch the review. That's all I got to say. Watch the review. But damn it, is it a good-looking knife. The Ergos are fantastic. It's the perfect EDC size, perfect blade shape. To me... This, the, the, the outline of this knife is a perfect EDC knife. Um, this is like the quintessential perfect EDC knife to me. 
when I think of a perfect EDC knife. The blade shape, the grind, the ergos. Um, it's in my, it's in one of my favorite steels, 14C28N steel. Nice deep carry clip, which I'm not saying a deep carry is better than anything else, but it, you know, it's a good clip. Um, and you can get up nice and close to the blade. Beautiful sharpening choil. This thing has a lot to offer. A lot to offer. And watch the review. And I know this thing will be dropping very soon. So don't you guys worry. I know you can't get it yet. Put your pre-orders in. Do whatever you got to do. Or, you know, have them notify you. Because um, this one's definitely going to be a big hit. I got to say that right now. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.